Hi, good evening. Welcome to Cooking Uncovered. My name is Miriam, and tonight I'm going to prepare this delicious, easy, and nutritious soup for Carl and I for dinner. And the beauty of it is I'm going to start it right now, and in half an hour, it's going to be ready for dinner. So you just add your favorite crackers or your favorite bread, and you've got a, a great, nutritious meal for two people. Now, the beauty of this soup is that you can duplicate it. So it's just Carl and I, and, and it would be nice if there were some leftovers tomorrow. Um, a little bit, not too much. But the beauty is you can duplicate this soup very easily. So let's get started, okay? So into my bowl here, um, into my pan, uh, which is now, which is hot on the stove, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil to the pot. And to that, I'd like to add about two tablespoons or even, I think, just one tablespoon of butter. Just add a little bit to it. So, so that is melting away very quickly because the pan is really hot. To that, I'm going to add my onions. And you can hear the sizzle right away. And that means that your pan is ready for your ingredients. So, just going to stir that up. Turn it down a bit. There we go. Now, I'm going to add two cloves of garlic. Um, I've cut the stem end, the root end, off my garlic, and now I'm just going to break it open with my knife. Be very careful that you don't slice your hand while you're doing that. It's very quick and easy. Um, this goes in the recycle bin, of course. Now, the beauty of this recipe, of course, it's gluten-free. <laughs> and uh, my friend Janine on Baking Beauties has a gluten-free website, the, the Baking Beauties, and everything she does is gluten-free. And what I've recognized is the fact that we really don't need to eat as much gluten as we eat every day. So I've been trying to just pay attention to that and just every once in a while, you know, no gluten, which is perfect. Um, just before this video, I did a um, seafood paella with quinoa, which is also gluten-free, which is perfect, perfect for a night like this as well. So there's my onions sautéing away. My two cloves of garlic are going in as well, and I'm going to saute that away. Now, um, I'm going to wait until my onions become a little bit transparent, and that means that they turn from that, these were the red onions, they turn from that red purpley color to a, an opaque color, like, they're, like you could almost see through them. But while that's working away on the stove, I just want to talk to you about the leek. This is a part of the leek that I've, I've already cut off the green end and that went into the stock to make this chicken stock. And so I'm going to show you how to uh, clean this. So put your leek on the board and cut it right in half. Now lay those flat pieces on your board. Now cut those flat pieces in half and turn it around and dice it. Now I actually haven't washed this leek yet because what I find is there's always sand and grit inside leeks. So now, I pop this all in a strainer, and see here, I've already strained this. And this is my washed leeks. I put it in a strainer, take it to the sink, wash it up, toss them around, so there's absolutely no sand and grit in my soup, because that would be terrible. Now, to my onions, I'm actually going to add, let me see if I turn this down again, I'm going to add my leeks. Because leeks really do um, very well when when you uh, saute them. So here I have in front of me a peeled carrot and one stalk of, of celery. Now remember, this is just for Carl and I. This is just for two people, so there's, there's not a lot of ingredients. So one stalk of celery, just dice it up, and one carrot. I'm going to take the root end off and the stem end off. Quickly dice it. Remember what I said on my my time-saving tip video about, I can't remember which video it was now, but about cutting carrots. Cut it in half and place the carrots on the flat so you're not cutting a rolling object. That, that would be very dangerous. So I'm just going to cut these quickly into sticks. So if I wanted carrot sticks, there's my carrot stick. It would be perfect. Absolutely perfect. But I want diced carrots for my leek and potato soup. Mmm, those are delicious. So now, celery and carrots go in with my leeks, my onions, and my garlic. It's perfect. 
We're sauteing away. And, oh, that's lovely. Ooh, that's perfect. To that, I'm going to add a little bit of a little bit of cracked pepper, and then some fresh herbs. So I am going to add one sprig of thyme. I'm really on to thyme right now because I, it's it's a lovely aromatic. Just one though. If you add too much, it's too much. It's too much flavor. So one sprig of thyme goes in, and now my potato, which I've washed, one potato. If there's any impurities that you want to get rid of on the outside, just quickly get rid of those, that's not a big deal. Now, what I do is, again, safety factor, time-saving tip. Cut your potato in half. Put the potato on the flat on your board, can you see that? So that it's like that, so that it's safe to, um, so that it's safe to chop. Now, I'm going to cut those halves in straight down, straight vertical cuts and turn it and cut them into chunks. That's all it is. And if vegetables choose not to cooperate, no big deal. Cut them <laughs> outside. So just turn them over and cut them in half and that's not a big deal. That's great. So one potato. So these are ready to go. Now to this I'd like to add um, a little bit of cilantro that I've already chopped up, chopped up, but I'm going to save some cilantro from the, for the garnish because, in actual fact, the chicken stock that I'm going to use has cilantro in the stock, and that's my chicken stock. It's so luscious. It's so delicious. So I'm just going to add a bit of cilantro right here to the onions, which is perfect, and my other soup is coming along here. Now, I would like to add some some fresh herbs. If you had, um, if you have rosemary, if you have thyme, if you have whatever you have in the garden, if you don't, then just add about um, maybe just a half a teaspoon, quarter quarter teaspoon, that much of your dried herbs, your choice. It's a, it's a great thing. I have um, one of my other recipe you, recipes uses a Tuscan sunset rub, which comes from pixie chicks on the island and they make these phenomenal rubs. Now that is a great great alternative. I don't have that here because I used it at my sister's but it is absolutely amazing. So I think that's www.pixychicks.com I think. But look for Tuscan Sunset Rub and you will find an amazing aromatic beautiful essence for stews, soups, rubs, fish, meat. It's great. So here we go. These are sautéing nicely. Now I'm going to add my stock. So to this I'm going to add two cups of uh, stock. This happens to be my chicken stock. Doesn't matter. Use whatever you like. And then in go my potatoes. And just for a little extra uh, flavor, I do have these phenomenal organic vegetable bouillon cubes. Now, I don't use bullion a lot, but this, these bullion cubes are gluten-free, they're MSG-free, yeast-free, and, and they've got uh, like onions, carrots in, in the bullion, and they're perfect for a flavor base as well as everything we've got here. So one of the bullion cubes, you see that? I'm just going to pop that in. And this is going to cook for 25 minutes, and then it's ready to serve. So that is probably the easiest leek and potato soup you will ever find. So I just want to show you what, in actual fact, it's going to look like when it comes out. So this is cooking. This is my soup that I made earlier. Same thing, exactly the same thing. And it does reduce quite a bit. I must warn you, because of the potatoes, it does reduce quite a bit. So if you find it's too thick, add another cup of water. So I added, I added the um, four cups of four cups of the chicken broth. And sometimes that's enough, but if not, just add another cup of water. That'll, it'll work quite well. So this is the finished product of the leek and potato soup. Now, right, you'll see the green specks of cilantro. You see that inside. Now, to the top, as a garnish, I'm just going to add some fresh cilantro because it is amazing, and I can, because I love cilantro. So... Let's just taste this. It's amazing. 
So that cooks for 25 minutes after the onions are sauteed. Oh, oh, that is absolutely delicious. <coughs> Excuse me. Absolutely delicious, and I hope you enjoy that. That is my very quick, very nutritious, gluten-free leek and potato soup. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.